talking about approval of the bill on recognition of the so-called independence of Nagorno-Karabakh is untimely. At the current stage, the Armenian government has not approved the bill on the recognition of independence of the so-called Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. Spokesperson of the Armenian Prime Minister, Gwar Pogosyan, said while commenting on the consideration of the above-mentioned bill at a government meeting. At the meeting on May 5th, the government approved the report on the bill on the recognition of Artsakh Republic, whereby it's clearly mentioned that the Armenian government would consider the recognition of the bill depending on the results of the discussions between Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh, taking into account the further processes, including the external factors, said Goar Pogosyan. It's noteworthy that, during the meeting, the Armenian government considered and forwarded to the National Assembly the bill on the recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh's independence. The authors of the initiative are representatives of the opposition, members of parliament Zarui Postanjan from Heritage Party and Hrant Pagratyan from the Armenian National Congress Party. An extraordinary meeting of the National Assembly of Armenia is scheduled for May 10th. However, the mentioned bill is not included to the agenda. According to the head of the press service of the Armenian National Congress, Arsen Babayan, the bill should be discussed at the Parliamentary Commission on External Affairs within 30 days from the date of submission. After the discussions and conclusion, the bill is included in the draft of the agenda of the plenary session. It might be included to the agenda, delayed or denied, Arsen Babayan explained. The stir artificially created by the Armenian mass media in connection with this bill has irritated Armenia's foreign ministry as well, Sputnik Armenia reported. The rumors around the conclusion of the Armenian government on the bill regarding the recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh submitted by two deputies are irrelevant, the foreign ministry reported. The foreign ministry notes that the Armenian authorities have stated many times under which conditions official Yerevan could recognize the so-called independence of Nagorno-Karabakh. If such an important decision is made, the Armenian president will inform the heads of the OSCE Minsk Group co-chair countries beforehand, the Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said. Unilateral recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh by the Armenian side is possible if only Azerbaijan begins military aggression. If Azerbaijan takes the step, then, naturally, the issue of the one-sided recognition will become topical, said spokesperson of the ruling Republican Party of Armenia, Vice Speaker of the Armenian Parliament, Eduard Sharmazanov. According to him, the stance of the Armenian side on the resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict has not changed. This issue should be resolved peacefully through the OSCE Minsk Group. Thus, the May 5 conclusion of the Armenian Cabinet of Ministers is just a continuation of the absurdity connected with the independence of the so-called Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. It's noteworthy that the Armenian opposition has raised this issue in the parliament countless times and every time the ruling Republican Party strikes it down. The Armenian leadership justified itself by noting that it was not the right time for the recognition of the so-called Nagorno-Karabakh Republic and the untimely steps might damage the process of the peaceful settlement of the conflict. Despite the threats coming from the presidential palace in Yerevan about the possible recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh, it's unlikely that this bill would be adopted in the parliament. The point is that the one-sided recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh by Armenia automatically turns all the documents on the negotiation table into a useless pile of papers and puts a cross on the negotiation process. The Armenian authorities realized that the refusal from the negotiations might lead to a resumption of the war. In any case, official Baku has recently voiced its position on this issue, which is that all the responsibility for the reckless actions of Yerevan will rest with Armenia and its leadership, because Azerbaijan will not make any compromises on the issue of its territorial integrity. Renagaeva, CBC.